Welcome to another edition of the Holistic Evolution Podcast with Scott and Kelly. I'm your host, Scott. And, and I'm Kelly. Kelly, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and we're both really cold tonight because we're both in very cold temperatures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, 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 in, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in cold temperatures at 75 degrees where I am right now. And, and I'm not this, in that. And Kelly, the therm therm thermostat says, screw it, I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Uh, anyway, uh, Kelly, um, you know, we usually have a guest that comes in, but you actually has got a guest right there in the studio with you. And why don't you tell me who she is? Yes, this is the amazing Beth Canelia. Hello. <laughs> yes, she's here with us today to talk about salt therapy and all things crystals and hippie healing holistic goodness. Hippie healing holistic goodness. There we well, go. we'll see about that. <laughs> See what comes. Uh, See what goes. I feel like you guys have been friends for a while now. Is that true? A couple years. Couple years. Yeah, years? I'd say something like probably that. lifetimes. We yeah, two, three years, and I think the first time. Gosh, we talked like we knew each other our whole lives. So. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is going to be a really nice uh, adventure. Tonight. Well, two, three years in Jersey is a freaking lifetime. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> now. Uh, uh, Kelly, you're from Jersey, but you've been down here in Florida, Tampa, and all over. And uh, Beth, are you uh, home based in Jersey? From Jersey, I am originally. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Bridgeton, New Jersey. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've I've moved and traveled and got sucked back a few times. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I call it home. There's no place like home. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to leave. That's why Jersey, every bridge into Jersey is free, but you got to pay to get out. Um, I think hell is the same way. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it froze over then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, so uh, let's start out with, um, you know, first of all, uh, sorry, I just fixed my camera there. No, it's what, fine. What, um, Beth, what got you interested in, in holistic and alternative medicines and, and crystals and healing? What got you interested in all that? Because I don't think a kid's born saying, <laughs> Ricky me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've always loved rocks um, since I was a little kid. I've been drawn to nature. I always love being out in nature. Um, I did end up going to massage therapy school at Raziri uh, Ayurveda School in uh, Marlton, New Jersey. So I got into more of the uh, Reiki energy work uh, through my education there. Yeah, it was really wonderful. Uh, I had a really great uh, teacher named Shiata, who uh, she was really brilliant, and I really enjoyed her a lot. And the school brought in people who knew what they were talking about, and it just really worked out for me. It made a connection. So it was, it really drew me into things that I necessarily had no clue about but connected to on a very easy level, which was really nice. So um, also, also I, um, I, <laughs> I can't explain it. I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things that I've been drawn to. Well, no, I think that's important. I think when people find their, um, their purpose or their, or their calling, um, it's not always as easy as saying well, this happened, that happened, this happened. Sometimes it's just that gut feeling that you, you get around something and you're like, I should be a part of this. And well, I always knew that I wanted to help people. Yeah. And no matter what job I did, I always usually tried to connect with people on a certain level, whether I knew you my whole life or I knew you just saying hello. And I, 
I just wanted to make an extension of that and to actually make a difference in a positive way. So when COVID hit, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I decided to rest for the first time in my life <laughs> ever. So it gave me a chance to really think about certain things I could do. I just, I'm drawn to it, whether I'm, it's inside me. I don't know. It just comes out. I can't explain it. And it's so nice because with BK Studios, you're going to take the same journey, not the same journey, but you're, you're taking a journey with me. This is what I'm into at the moment. This is what's coming through at the moment. This is, I'm going to educate on what, hey, look, you know, I'm going through certain things. Medication didn't help me. Medication made things worse physically. Uh, so anything holistic alternative that, you know, I'd try out and actually was effective, I am more than happy to educate, put out there because no one told me about these things until I really started educating myself. So if I can give someone a shortcut or a platform or, you know, even spark an idea or a connection in their head, hey, you know what, let me research this. Maybe this can help my Aunt Susan or my mom's really struggling with this right now, you know, and she she's the glue that holds the family together. I got to make sure she's good. So, you know what, this is working for me at the time or, you uh, you know, it's it's funny how things show up. Absolutely. What you were diagnosed with in case people can connect. Well, I haven't necessarily, <laughs> I haven't been diagnosed per se, um, but you know yourself better than anyone, right? Right. I, I make my own educated uh, position with what I'm going through, things I've been through, traumatic things, Um and how I'm going to a lot, you know, what I really realized that with anxiety and depression, a large majority who don't go through it, don't understand what it feels like mm -hmm. the pain mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, you know, you have family members that love you and want the best for you and they want to be there for you, but they don't understand or they do. It depends the things and their experiences and what they go through. But for the people out there who really truly don't and have a loved one who is going through these types of things, it's just an alternative. There's some alternative ways and methods that may be a lot more gentler uh, physically, physiology, you know, within your physiology, that's going to work for you maybe a little better than synthetic chemical. Right. Chemicals. Absolutely. You know, I mean, if we're all taking the juice, we'd all get shock therapy. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want the juice. <laughs> I want the squeeze. <laughs> so, uh, I've, I've got to make my I'm already we're not even 10 minutes in the show. So I got to make my first apology because uh, Danette's saying, hey, don't knock Jersey. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I apologize. I lived there for 20 years. So, you know, I mean, I've gotten my taste of Jersey. I'm not making fun of it because I don't know. I mean, we basically uh, called it the Hotel California. But. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty oh, much. Hey, <laughs> I'm going in the other direction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, okay, cool. Um, now, one thing I want to point out before we go too far into this uh, is if someone you care about is suffering from a mental health crisis, in a, in a mental health crisis, get them help. It's not time to experiment. It's not time to look around, but it doesn't mean you can't look for doctors who look at alternative options. Um, don't assume if somebody needs to be diagnosed, get them diagnosed. Um, if somebody's standing on a bridge and they're about to jump, it's not time to talk to them about, hey, here's a good idea. You could try this or you could try that. Or you could try. Absolutely. No, get them diagnosed first. Make sure that they're OK. Make sure that they're stable. Um, if somebody, you know, is becoming unstable, especially if they talk about hurting themselves or hurting other people, you must take action, um, and get them someplace safe, then start looking for your alternatives. Um, once you're diagnosed, then you look at your options and stuff, but I just have to put that out there. I don't ever want somebody to say, 
that we've got a mental health crisis in, in the house, but we're going to try different things. Don't do that first. Make sure that they're okay first right. and stable. A salt bath is not going to cure yeah. suicidal feelings or, or thoughts or anything. So I'm, I'm definitely not promoting that in any way, shape or form. I'm, I'm promoting health and well-being. I'm right. promoting, you know, at the end of your day, when you've lost family members in a week, you've lost uh, a friend to suicide who wrote their suicide note on Facebook. You know, there's just a lot of things that are going on right now in this world that are so hard to wrap your mind around. And, you know, you don't have to be mentally ill or have mental issues to enjoy the benefits of, of this type of medicinal, uh, I call you know, it's really medicine. It really is. Um, people can call it what they want. It's relief, relief, release, stress release. It's a, an, it's an additional form that people can use to help themselves out on a daily basis. So when things do happen, maybe it's not going to be such a traumatic uh, position on your nervous system. So there's different things that you can do. It's a lot of it is a state of mind. You know, mm -hmm. you have all these things happening and you're like, you know what, what there's a lot of people. They're like, why me? Oh, yeah, this and that. And 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 I'm not knocking them, but it. I kind of am. <laughs> But like a lot of people develop a victim mentality. Right. And that's not going to get you anywhere. And, you know, you have to take responsibility for you. Nobody can take responsibility but you for you. Oh, this one did this to me. Did this one did that to me? Yeah, sure. Hey, guess what? Get in line. They're everywhere. What are you going to do to take accountability for yourself to take care of yourself? I'm not going to point to this one next to me. I mean, I should because she's amazing. <laughs> you know, she she's probably the only you know, she's the only reason why I'm on here. Uh, three years ago, I wouldn't have dreamed of being on a platform like this speaking or anything of that nature. I kept everything inside. Right. You know, I, I, I'm not I, if I'm comfortable with you. Wonderful. If I'm not, you have no idea who I am. You can know me for 10 years. You have no idea who I am. And when that happened, there was a big turn. And I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm done wearing the masks. I'm done projecting things that aren't me. And that's where the depression comes from. That's where the anxiety comes from when you're not authentically yourself. And putting that forward, uh, you're you're developing disease within yourself. Absolutely. Uh, my friend Tim Roberto is with us. Uh, and and uh, Tim Roberto spends... His time and his life is dedicated to helping other people, and I appreciate him. He's a great man. Thank you. Um, does okay. a lot of great things, and he says it's all in your thinking. He's absolutely right. Absolutely. But you know what? Without without introducing ideas to other people and listening to other people, you'll never get new ideas. And the only way you're going to get that is if you speak up. So before we get into some of the great things you guys both do mm -hmm. and uh, talk about holistic healing and, and alternative medicines and in just other ways of thinking about things. Number one, speak your truth. Speak about what you're feeling. Talk to somebody. Um, and I suggest try to talk to the right people. I mean, it's easy to go. To, it's easy to go down to the bar and bitch about your life while you're getting drunk with a bunch of guys or girls. Or and it's like that's not going to be a healing moment. Trust no. me, that's that's not the place to do it. You're digging deeper, right? Find somebody that that you trust. Somebody that 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 uh, has a path that you like. Um, but always share what's going on with you. Um, because it, you know what, Beth, you make a point about, you know, you kind of shut down, you don't let anybody in. Mm -hmm. And if you stay in that state long enough, you start lying to yourself as well, because if it's not coming out, you just change it on the inside anyway. So well, it develops. You, you fall into denial about everything, right? Absolutely. It can, you know, and not only that, but when you keep things in and you don't all the authentic, all the all authentically express yourself um, and you hold things in, cancer develops. Um, different things are trauma is held in your tissues. Um, 
there are all different sorts of things that are and, and information that really isn't being broadcasted that much that people don't really realize. They're like, oh, I'm so tough. I'm so strong. I'm going to hold it all in and put it all together. And, you know, the next year they have some form of disease ailment. Um, and unfortunately it'll come out because it literally is stored in the body mm -hmm. and a lot of different ways when you don't truly express yourself and, and move, keep moving forward. When you get stuck, that's when a lot of different things can develop and show up that you really don't want for sure. Yeah. And, um, uh... We all know there are people that and they might do everything right and they still end up with certain things. Uh, we know that happens, but all in all, if, if, if you take care of your, your, your eating and your, your, your sleeping and your state of mind and your spiritual side of yourself, if you do all those things, it is less likely uh, that you're going to suffer some of these things. And uh, Hey, we all know we've all got, we've all gotten depressed or had, had like sad things happen or um, or even tragedy that has struck us, uh, a loss of a loved one or something. Mm -hmm. And then we felt physically ill. And it's like, how did that happen? How did me losing this person or having this sad moment, how did that become a stomach ache? It's because your emotions do affect your body. Absolutely. And if your body becomes depressive as your emotions are depressive, it also becomes susceptible to disease and other things too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So number one, speak your truth. If you're feeling something, share it. I'll tell you this. Any times, uh, yeah, Mary Kay, yes, the body yes, keeps the score. Kay. It does keep the score. Um, but if you speak your truth, if you bring light to anxiety, light to depression, and when I say light means open it up and letting other people in, uh, there's a reduction that happens almost immediately. It really does. Well, I think all a lot those, the negative, negative feelings like the darkness of being closed off. They don't like being brought out into the light. Exactly. They don't, a lot of times, you know, they don't want to be a burden. And they think, oh, well, if I just keep this to myself, I don't, I don't want to be a problem. And, you know, there's other things that stem to that as well. Um, feelings of not being good enough or not deserving of other people's love, attention, support. Um, different things like that. There's a lot of different avenues. And I believe everybody's different in their own mental space of well-being and their own journey. So I try to provide some education, um, some stress relief, even if it's in the moment. Um, I try to have a positive perspective. Um, and honestly, I really try my best to shed light in dark places. And people don't like that. <laughs> people don't enjoy that very much. Um, a lot of people hide from the truth. A lot of people want to project or show certain things. And, you know, when you play puppet master, you can lose a lot. You, you, you mm -hmm. can lose a sense of who you are. You can wake up one day and you have no idea who you are, what's going on. Uh, you can find yourself in, in different places that you you really don't know how you end up getting there. So, but anyway, I feel like I've taken over your show. You go ahead. No. <laughs> I feel like I'm this just like taking everything over here. Oh, but, Kelly, Kelly and I bring people on to find out about them and we're finding out about yeah, you. Yeah, well, thank uh, you. I really that's appreciate it. That's a good thing. Very do tell us, do tell us about what you're doing though. Um, you know, how can people, you know, who do you want to reach out to and, and what do you have to offer and different things? What are you doing now? Yeah. Well, um, I have been for the past three years, I've been utilizing Himalayan sea salt and salt soaks, baths, flowers, spices, lots of symbolism. Um, I make candles that are uh, soy or palm because they're a little more eco-friendly. It is palm it's wax. So cool. Yes. It's <laughs> very important. Well, whatever ingredients I use, there's always intention and symbolism behind. 
Mm -hmm. So that way you, you're not only purchasing something, but you're feeling those things. Hey, this represents, um, strength, focus, um, love, unconditional love. Um, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling out, um, you know, I put a lot of love in, into these things. I put a lot of intention, a lot of thought. Uh, it's a process. It's, it's not, oh, hey, I'm going to make a candle. It's, um, you know, what am I feeling at the moment to put into this candle that somebody is going to get out of who may not even realize the extent of what they're going through, but this sparked something in their brain. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do this for myself. I'm going to get this candle. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to get through whatever's going on right now. I'm going to talk to so-and-so. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, it, it basically what my goal is, is to spark an idea of, of health and well-being in people who necessarily don't think it's for them. Oh yeah, this, this, and that, and the other, or whatever, you know, it's medicine. It's been around for thousands of years. And for some reason, modern day, a lot of people are just geared more towards taking pills. Oh, I'll just quick fix it. I'll take a pill. I'll do this. I'll do, I don't have time. I'm doing that, you know, with the hustle and bustle of, what this world looks like and how they've geared towards, hey, let's be so busy. We don't have time for each other. We'll make time. We don't know when, but I'm busy doing this, 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 this. So I want to put out there that it's okay to slow down. It's okay to rest. It's okay to take some time for yourself. You don't have to feel guilty about it. If you're not okay, how can you be okay with helping people or or even functioning? You know, it's it's an idea, it's a mentality that I think a lot of people can utilize to really help help themselves. And that was kind of inspired by your own journey of overworking a bit, right? I worked myself into the ground from a little kid until about three years ago. And, you know, you were talking about your sciatic earlier. You know, I, I, I had, I don't want to say I have, haha, but I, I have back issues. This lovely lady knows that, you know, I've had issues since I was 18 years old, you know, so I've been struggling with this for a very long time, pain for a very long time. And it's like, you know, mind over heart, over matter, over, you know, a lot of this. And I want to get away from that mentality. I want to bring the heart to the forefront. I want to bring, um, you know, things that are going to fill people's cups, whether it's a, oh, I thought of you when I got this, because this is what it symbolizes. This is what it means you know, or I'm going to get this for myself because I've been feeling down and out lately. And I, this is going to empower me. This is going to get me through a day to maybe I can fill my cup up enough where I can help somebody else out, or I can connect with someone because we're going through something similar. Has salt helped you as much as it's helped me with pain, with back pain? It has. It's amazing, right? It Incredible. really, really, truly is. I mean, it's not a cure-all. Let's keep it real. You're going to keep working. You're going to keep moving. You're going to keep hurting. You're going to, it's not a magic. I mean, it's magic. <laughs> it's magic. But it's not a hocus pocus type of magic. It's not a, you know, it's, it's for your everyday use, which is amazing. You know, and I like the path of least resistance. That's your, that's your skin right? It's the biggest organ you have. It's something that you can take and love yourself. I, I've had days where I'm done. Like I can't people anymore. I can't take on your problems, even if you think I should, because that's who I've been your entire life. Um, that's not going to fly anymore. If I'm not up to par, I can't help you. 
Um, I can, I can roundabout come back and help you out another time. But, uh, and this is the salt has really Himalayan sea salt, any type of sea salt really does replenish certain nutrients uh, back into your body that you really need and that uh, the general population really isn't getting. Big time. Yeah. 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 I mean, we absorb magnesium best through our skin, right? So that's absolutely for Epsom salts and Himalayan. And also, um, mm -hmm. I've told the story before that I was rear-ended in three car accidents. On the third car accident, I got immediately into a salt bath. And that was the only time the next day that I could walk. It was incredible right. how dramatically it, it was hugely yeah. oh, important yeah. to my recovery for, from You can go from flesh. feeling like you're 90 years old to actually being able to move and, and, and be comfortable in your sleep. Like, say, if, if you don't get your rest, how well can you really heal? How well can you really carry yourself? So it's been a wonderful tool for me. Like I said, it's a tool. It's not a cure-all. It's not a, hey, I have my elixir wagon down the street. I, I got your cure-all. You know, it's not, it's like anything else. It's not a once one thing you, you have to, you know, really forefront and do things that are going to be better for your mind, body, and soul. Right. Can you talk about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Well, let me, let me, let me add some in here. You're talking about the salt baths and things like mm -hmm. that. And it, it's no, I mean, maybe people don't know. I don't, I don't know, but um, you know, it's no secret that we have a magnesium deficiency in the United Absolutely. States that is off the charts um, two thirds of the United States is magnesium deficient. And what you see when you have a magnesium deficiency is first of all, um, it affects brain function, uh, because the pathways to the brain, um, all need, uh, those minerals and aminos and vitamins to function properly. And if you're depleted in any one of them, it screws everything up. Uh, people get migraines, uh, most migraines, unless we're talking about dehydration, which causes, you know, the most common cause of a migraine is dehydration. But if it's not dehydration, a lot of times the cause is a magnesium deficiency. People get cramps in their legs and stuff. So uh, you want to find a good magnesium source. Now, um, I, supplements work well, um, but so do other things like the Epsom salts and things like that. Our soils are depleted of magnesium, people. You're not going to get it through eating your vegetables anymore. It's not going to happen. Right. You have to sometimes look for other ways of doing things. So, yeah, all of this stuff, there is science behind this stuff. Uh, there is purpose behind this stuff. Um, it may appear magical, but that magic is simply, like you said, you're using the largest organ on your body, your skin, for absorption of things that you're depleted in. Right. And there's there, there aren't people that are really talking about it too much. You know, you, you, you go to the doctor, you have your physical. Oh, yeah, I got my liver checked for enzymes or this or that or the other. Right. You don't hear. Oh, hey, you know, are you keeping up with your magnesium? Uh, are you you know, let me let me look at your nails. Are your are you zinc deficient? Uh, there's a lot of things. Oh, do you have your gallbladder anymore? Okay. You don't have your gallbladder anymore. What do you need yeah. vitamin wise, mineral wise, that's going to carry you from here forth because now you don't have a gallbladder and the doctors really aren't educating people about this. Well, let it, me tell you why though. Let me tell you why, uh, because as much as and, and I work with addicts and alcoholics and people mm -hmm. coming into recovery, people who are completely, completely depleted in almost every category um, because cocaine does not replace healthy aminos and minerals and vitamins. <laughs> um, it just is not a good substitute. Yeah. <laughs> um, neither is marijuana or alcohol or cigarettes or any of those things that mm -hmm. depletes your body of what you need. Um your body has to work extra but overtime. It's, it's well. got to work overtime and it's got to, to get all of these things that it's now depleted in and through normal again, because we, our soils are depleted, our soils are, um, it's, you've got to do a little something extra and you got to start looking for those things. Now, doctors are aware that vitamin deficiency and aminos and minerals, if they're missing, it throws the body off. They're aware of that. Mm -hmm. Everyone's aware of that, but insurance companies do not pay for those things. 
there are tests that can be done. You can do a simple hair test, a hair analysis, and it will tell you the heavy metals that you, you have too much of. It'll tell you about where you're, de where you're deficient. And from that, you can formulate a great healthy vitamin regimen that will put people right back on track. Why don't they do it? Because big pharma doesn't make money on vitamins. Correct. They don't make money on vitamins, aminos and minerals, an Epsom salt bath. Nobody's making money hand over fist on that. Why would they tell you about it? Because they're not getting kickbacks. It's not being, that's not what we do. So I don't want to say big conspiracy theory, but every time you get a headache, they're trying to push a pill on you. Every time you have a cold, they push a pill on you instead of saying, why don't you try this? We've got so many allergy pills out there, but who knows that you can cure 90% of your allergies by eating raw honey that's grown in the area you live in. Absolutely. Uh, they don't know that. Why? Because nobody makes money at that. There's except, so for the, except for the honey people. Right. <laughs> honey is amazing. Honey is absolutely one of the most underestimated healing awesomeness that people really don't talk about, you know, it, it's, it's antibacterial. It, you literally can put it on a cut and you're good to go. Um, you know, there's, it, it help definitely helps with seasonal allergies or just allergies yeah. in general. All you have to do is introduce it to your diet, you know, it's, raw honey, not the, not, right. not the, not the honey that's processed and you get, comes in a squeeze bottle. Local. The, the raw <laughs> honey. Like local, local. local raw honey has mm -hmm. all of those things in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's tasty. Hello. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not like that Nutella crap that nobody likes. <laughs> right. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Let's see. Uh, Danette says, uh, we do raw local honey for my daughter's allergies, mm -hmm. and I've used it on cuts. Absolutely. Thank you, Danette. And it's great, too, because her daughter is a physician's assistant. So, you know, you, you find things like that and then you pass that along and that's how it gets into the medical. Yeah. Field, you know? Yeah. I mean, how much sense does it make? Because every allergy pill that people take when their allergies kick in does nothing about the cause of the allergy. It only stops the symptomologies. And the symptomologies it stops is people are they got a runny nose. The, and what's happening is. Mucus is coming out, which is bad stuff. And what we do is we take a pill, so we dry it up and keep all of the bad stuff in our body Inside. instead of letting the body heal itself. Exactly. And uh, what honey does is it introduces the local uh, pollens and, and the, 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 the ragweeds and all the other things. It introduces that into your system in a way that your system can now learn how to process and handle it. And when I say 90% of your allergies will go away if you eat local honey, that, that's the truth. Now, you know, it doesn't doesn't cure you from your dog or your cat allergies because, mm -hmm. you know, no honeys are made from dogs or cats, at, at least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it was, I wouldn't need it. Uh, so, that, will not be, that will not be on my page. No, but the, I, not promote. <laughs> Beth, these are the kind of things you want people to know about. This is what your purpose Absolutely. is, is to educate people about this stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, honestly, starting off, this was just a page for me to, to be creative and do things that I love because I have, you know, in my job for the past 20 years, yeah, I've been creative in the things that I've done, but I couldn't necessarily be like, Hey, I'm proud of that. That's going to really, uh, help you out. You know, um, this is something, this is feeding my soul. This is allowing myself to feel creative expression, however it looks, unapologetically. Right. This is what it is. Um, if it can help someone, amazing. That's awesome. I'm all about that. If anybody has any questions about anything, if I don't know, I would never, ever claim to know it all in any way, shape, or form. If if there's something that might spark your interest that I can help you research, no problem. I'm all about that. My mind is ready. I'm ready for something like that. It, it just uh, allows me to express myself. Let's just say that in different forms. It has no box. There's no box. There, there's nothing that you have to fit in. There's no wrong answer. There's just 
being creative and expressing yourself, period. Uh, my friend Lynn Serrano is tuning in. Lynn, thank you for being here. She is the uh, hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. She is the queen of podcasting. Uh, I was just doing a show with her before this, and, and uh, we're expressing opinions on different things. And Lynn and I tend to tackle the things about really more about um, daily life, moving forward, doing certain things. So it's nice to kind of take this kind of approach about self-care. And Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. What is your so, friend, it was it Mary Kay, who said self-care is not selfish? I definitely want to highlight that. Yes. Fact. Yeah. Self-care isn't being selfish. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so those are all, you know, thank you guys, everybody for tuning in. Um, so let me ask you, you have you have a page that people can go to and you have, I have products? A page, I have a page on Instagram. Okay. I okay. haven't launched anything yet that I'm, you know, divine timing for everything that will be in the new year coming. Okay. Uh, right now, this is, this is kind of sort of my adolescent years. You know, I'm building. I'm building up um, for what's to come. But anything that I do create, I, you know, I try to post. If you're interested, message me. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing in the moment and what's coming out, hit me up, you know, B-K-E-N-E-L-I-A-4747 at gmail.com at the moment. Um, if you have any questions, if, you know, I'll send you pictures, I'll send you details. You're more than welcome to go on my Instagram and check anything out. If you can do custom orders, if you want, if you see something that you really enjoy and be like, hey, you know what, I would really like that for my wedding. I'd really like that for my girl's night, my guy i don't know about guys whatever whatever you know it's it's if hey if guys guys could be guys could do yeah. self-care hello absolutely. well uh, I, lynn, lynn says self-care is a must and that's actually true it, it is a must and yes. a lot of people that don't do it well here's the first thing that happens you don't take care of yourself and if you don't do things that are healthy for you the first thing that happens is you become a miserable person I, i'm just sorry it, because yeah. Then you're just this victim of life and everything is always against you. So taking care of yourself, you've got to do that. You've got to be able to take care of yourself. Yeah. So. Nobody wants to feel like that. Nobody wants to be in that position and nobody wants to hear it. Nobody, let's keep it real. Nobody wants to hear it. You know, it's one thing if you're going through a, a, a difficult time or this or that or the other, but once they've smelled you a few times, you know, uh, yeah. and it doesn't smell like roses after a while, you know, you're going to be sitting there all by yourself. So, so when it says uh, at BK underscore uh, studios 22, that's your Instagram page. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And then she right, also just... does things in person, right? Like you have a setup um, actually in Millville. I Well, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. I am set up in her lovely office um salt soaks candles uh things of that nature for the holiday 15 north high street i, I remember yes. <laughs> New Jersey. Yeah. I, only, I only spent 20 years in that building that you're sitting in right now <laughs> it's true 20 years yep yeah 20 years. see and you're still getting pulled back see you see <laughs> I, know. I, I end up right back there Unbelievable. So here virtually now. yeah you're here <laughs> well you know what everything comes back uh lynn and my friend lynn uh it's like we were we were uh, friends and um, actually, you know, dated when we were like 13 or 14 years old. And then we didn't hear from each other for like 40 years. And now she's all the way across the country. I'm over here in Florida and we're podcasting together. And we're, you know, it's just amazing how we're drawn to people um, and, draw, and drawn to places and drawn to mm -hmm. places. And it's energetic. It really is. And a lot of the things that I promote uh, deal a lot with energy. Um, it, energy, frequency, sound healing, moon energy medicine. These are all medicines that people, they, they, they have no concept. They have absolutely no clue that they can actually help you heal yourself. Right. Uh, and, and it's just something that has been working for me. So if it's working for me, I'm going to promote it. How it do doesn't, you use it in your products? I take my product and I put <laughs> them outside. So cool. I Little put them cues. outside. <laughs> I yeah. put them in nature, baby. 
I bring them home, you know, they, and then they absorb the energy of full moon. It depends if it's a new moon. I don't usually do new moons. I do a lot of full moons. Uh, you know, it's all about the energy and it's, a, it, it really, it, I don't know the difference you know, between a new moon and a full moon. What's the difference? If you can see it, it's a full moon. If you can't yeah. see it, it's a new moon. Yeah. Well, you know, that's getting more. There's... Well, if I can't see it, it's called a no moon. <laughs> well... <laughs> Not a new moon. I look outside, there's no moon. There we go. <laughs> it depends. It depends on what the moon is in. There's different phases of it. Phases astrologically, yeah. um, different things that it's showing you or showing up for you um that you're already in sync with anyway mm-hmm. when it's so, very full like it helps us release and just kind of reset it helps the process along mm-hmm. a little easier let's just say that even if you really aren't up with it or if you really don't quite understand it you yeah. can you feel it mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel it you feel the intention that i put in these things because i've gone through a lot of um trauma i've gone through you know whatever that looks like my trauma looks different than yours than hers then you know but it the fundamental um of it is it helps it makes a difference if it didn't i wouldn't be here talking to you about it i wouldn't be doing it i wouldn't be wasting my time on it um so well, let me let me uh Lynn says uh, not that full moon Scott uh um, <laughs> okay nobody wants to I have that. not mooned anybody <laughs> in like 30 years <laughs> once your ass gets too old you don't moon anybody it just doesn't happen uh, I will and, do it one day don't you worry <laughs> Emily says I know <laughs> strap me down <laughs> <laughs> she says I know next to nothing about astrology uh but hi Scott uh lol and ladies here um hi Emily hi Emily Emily fantastic girl um she's like she's she's one of my friends my recovery people that is just an incredible person she always brings great energy that's wonderful Um, welcome let me ask you a question though how come if i go out and let's say i'm digging in uh digging around in the jungles of brazil and i come across the plant that most people haven't ever seen before and i dig it up and i cut up the root and i put it in a pill and i go out and i say take this it'll make you smarter it'll make you run faster it'll make uh make you you know great in bed it'll do all these wonderful things and everybody starts buying it up but then i bring them something that's been around for three or four thousand years and say this works acupuncture even chiropractic in some ways, Reiki, uh, massages. I bring Absolutely. those things up and people are like, oh, that doesn't work. Dude, they get all weird about it. Well, wait. So this one was discovered three weeks ago by some guy. And now they're just making it in a garage somewhere and making money hand over fist. And there's no evidence of it. But you've got all this stuff that's been around for thousands of years that has been used by cultures before we even knew about their cultures. And people are doubtful of that. Does that make you guys kind of chuckle a little bit? It's like, what are people thinking? I think it shows us the amount of people who are just willing to hand over um, their health. Or shortcuts. They want shortcuts. Yeah, they're just like, oh, if it's a quick fix, sure, no problem. I'll put my mask on and, you know, I'll just oh yeah sure let's go let's keep it moving let's keep it moving that's that quick pace again that boop, 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 boop. if you don't ever slow down once you do slow down you're going to get hit with a mac truck and then you're going to be like i don't know what happened i don't know where this came from or this just came out of nowhere no it didn't <laughs> it's been here but like i don't really understand that mentality because i connect with the old school herbal medicine Mm -hmm. you know my grandmother used a lot of of you know she'd make dandelion soup uh there's different things and remedies that she integrated in the neighborhood that's good stuff yeah yeah exactly i mean this woman never drove a car in her life but she could probably cure what ails you Mm -hmm. but kelly let me ask you the ride (laughs) Kelly, let me let me let me bring this to you for a minute. Um, just because you offer these services that are, you know, pretty much hands-on and well, Reiki's not hands-on, 
unless it's karate Reiki, then. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> but do you have a lot of times, do you have times when people are coming in and, and, you know, they want that kind of like pill like experience where you're going to touch me once I'm going to be healed and everything's perfect. Um, do you have to explain to them about, you know, taking care of your body and doing all that? I mean, have you noticed that people want quick fixes for everything when they come to see you? Mm -hmm. Not yeah. everybody, but a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I think that, you know, what is the most compelling um, information for them is, you know, when they come in and they're super tight and then you must give them a massage and then they're relaxed afterwards, they kind of realize how much tension they were carrying. Yeah. So then they realize like very shortly after when they need one again, because now they know what it feels like not to carry that tension anymore. So it's yeah. really about experience, you know, through the modalities where you actually get that relief to know your body, to know when it's time to listen to your intuition to continue the self-care. That's the beautiful thing about these modalities that we're talking about. Um, it's about it's about an ongoing self-care regimen. It's about taking mm -hmm. care of yourself. And it doesn't mean you have to get a massage every day. I know some people think, hey, that'd be heaven. That'd be great. I guarantee if you had to get a massage every day, uh, by the second week, you'd be like, don't touch me. Just <laughs> leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> You don't have to do it every day, but you should have that's some sort of regimen. Yourself, by the should, way. <laughs> that's me. That's me. I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's that'd be kind of nice. I, I don't like people touching me. Yeah. Um, I, I can direct you. <laughs> it's it's like any other thing. It's like when you if you if you go on a diet, you don't go on a diet for a week and then you right. give up and then everything's better. No, you have to build a lifestyle. So a lot of these things that you guys do is about shifting your thoughts. Mm -hmm. shifting your beliefs a little bit and creating a healthy lifestyle that include these modalities and these kind of uh, these kind of energies. Right. Right. Because you have to realize just how many chemicals you are absorbing per day in your environment. Mm -hmm. We're not going back. You know, we're not living in 1900 anymore. We're living in 2022 where if they can get it in you, they're going to in any way, shape, or form. So we have to have tools that are going to combat it. You know, that's why it, it just, it's so simple. People think it's ridiculous because it is so simple, but how many times is the most simplest thing, the best thing for you, right? Absolutely. Emily says real treatments, real treatments take time and consistent effort and belief. Unlike shortcuts, like those body wraps from It Works that random moms sell on Facebook. Because people come along, oh, this is the new thing. And if it's a new thing and it comes in a shiny bottle, I'll buy it and I'll spend $49.95 on this thing. And it's going to make me a god in the bedroom and a ruler in the boardroom. And it's like, you know what? No, no. You know, if you take care of your body and you do consistency, mm -hmm. You start to develop better habits and you start to do You're those gonna things. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel gonna it. You're going to notice it. And you do feel relief right away in some cases. Like mm -hmm. with my chiropractic, I went and it's like I immediately felt relief in my leg, but I knew I wasn't healed. I was on the road to healing. And what I need to do is keep working that so that the nerve is fully released. And it takes time for that to happen. Instant gratification is a difficult thing for you guys to deal with when you're talking about this kind of care, isn't it? Well, we live in a world of gratification, instant gratification. Uh, they're making it so mainstream now that if you're not getting it, there's something wrong with it or it's not good enough or, you know, we're going back to the mentality thing. So, it you know, things like this promote lymphatic drainage. It, it promotes better circulation you know well, my feet are cold i bet they are i bet they're real cold get them over there i don't want them but honestly these are real day-to-day -day issues and problems that people are having that aren't really you know you know they're, they they might seem minor here or there but you know after long extended periods of time you really start to have a lot of issues so anything that's going to promote the movement of blood, uh, energy, energy, your body is a system. It works on energy. 
-hmm. works on, uh, you know, a lot of things moving. And when you live in an environment that a lot of the ingredients are depleted, it's hard to function sometimes. And like Kelly said, you know, you go through these things for so long and you get used to them and you're like, man, I, I, I just, I was going through so much pain for so long. I didn't even realize that I didn't have to live that way. I think some people get so used to pain and so yeah. used to discomfort and they start to think that's just life. That's just how you feel. And that's just what it is. They accept if it. When you find a sense of relief, it's so freaking amazing and it feels almost foreign. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys have experienced that with people too, where it's like, I didn't know I could feel this good. I didn't know I could feel this uh, limber or this, this comfortable. And it's so nice. Why wouldn't people seek that out? Here's the deal. You can go to your local pharmacy and you can pick up the pills that are prescribed to you. Now, I'm not anti-medicine. I am not. Right, right. Medicines have their place, but it should not be the only answer. It right. should be the answer when other things fail or when you're in a dire circumstance, of course. You know, if I'm going to slam your hand in a car door and, uh, and you've got every bone in your hand is busted, I'm yeah. not asking you to go do Reiki right at this moment. I'm thinking you're going to need some medication, all right? But on a daily basis and everything else, why aren't we addressing more of our body, addressing more mm -hmm. of our whole body? Um, the funny thing is, is I got all this pain in my leg and I can take ibuprofen to make the pain go away, but it's not releasing the sciatic nerve. It's not dealing with what no. needs to be dealt with. No. Uh, when I go to my chiropractor or I go to my acupuncturist, they know where the problem exists and they deal with the cause. They're not dealing with the symptomology, they're dealing with the cause. The symptomology goes away because the cause is being released. Unfortunately, modern medicine, only about 10% of modern medicines are about treating cause. The other 90% about are about mitigating um, symptomologies. So, but we're used to that. Yeah. But we're used to that. It's and, what people and like. I know if we've tuned into the show, I'm a big proponent of CBD oil because that for me actually yes. very much took care of nerve pain. Um and I can get nerve pain to go away in a family member's toe in five minutes with the application of CBD. And it took away back pain that was debilitating for me. So everyone's got, you know, kind of something that works for them. That for me, like, that was one thing that kind of worked instantaneously. Game and I'm changer, a huge, right? Yeah, huge proponent of CBD oil. And now they make CBD oil without any THC traces in it. And so that's also a benefit, too, for people who do not want that. Absolutely. So so if we were to say, a st if we were to get a statement like, listen, go to your family doctor and make sure you get your checkups on occasion. If you, if you're a woman, get the, get your, the breast exams and, and do, do those things, but treat yourself on a daily basis better with other things instead of daily taking conscious. medicines. Be, Be more conscious. Yeah. Be more conscious of what's going on with your day to day. Not when something arises, not when there's a problem. Yeah. Uh, you want to not get to that point. You know, obviously we're not getting younger, but um, you can really help yourself out in the long run. If you just take some simple steps as, you know, just drinking enough water per day, you'd be amazed. Kelly, what that you know what? Do. I want to bring this up. You've got regular clients who come to you at regular intervals. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you see them as because they're doing it on a regular interval and taking care of their body? Do you notice where they get healthier as time goes on while they're doing those kind of things instead of just treating a problem like Beth just said? Don't mm -hmm. wait until you're sick. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Do you see where people feel better and are healthier and they don't become as stressed when they do those things on a regular basis? Yeah, it's really fun to watch. And um, I actually had a client today who hadn't had massages in years. This is the second session um after maybe a year or two of not having them and i could tell in his tissue it was more hydrated he was holding the, the work well you know everyone accumulates tension but it was not anywhere near as hard and and mm -hmm. tense as he was the first time that he came in and so yeah it's very rewarding to to see that and feel that the body wants to heal mm -hmm. itself yeah, yeah. It's literally its job yeah 
And that's what I love so much about your your salt blends because they do detoxify. They do help. Absolutely. Relieve stress. They're, they're going to pull those toxins in a such a gentle way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You know, you can really enjoy it. And, you know, I talked about intention earlier. And this is one of the most underestimated things, I think, in people's lives. They literally, you know, until they find themselves in a pickle or certain situations, how many times do you start your day with an intention? Mm -hmm. Do you go, you know, to the grocery store with an intention? That's what we really need to start doing because guess what? Amazing things happen when you actually live a life of intention. Hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. Um you know, I want to get the most out of my day. Um, basically, I start in the morning. I, I, I'm thankful for waking up in this body. Right. And I, I basically say my mantra and I'm just like, hey, you know, I don't say hey, but you know what I mean? Place me in the places for my highest good that I can get the most out of and do the, the most work with other people. Um, you know, if I find myself in a really difficult situation and I have to complete certain tasks, um, my intention is to complete this pat this task in such a way of grace that it's going to be the best for everyone involved. If it's something so simple, you, it just takes a second before you go to your mother-in-law's house, right? You don't get along with your mother-in-law or you do whatever you're having an issue. Let's just say this is a complete example. You know, if you, if you sit there, that's wonderful, Danette. And for you yeah, Danette says she, she tries to begin her day through uh, mindfulness. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You know, and, and, and a lot of people think what they don't want. Hey, I don't want this. I don't want that. But people really need to start thinking about what they need, what they do want. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to get out of this. This is Absolutely. what I'd really like to develop. And it's, it's a game changer. It, it really turns things around and gives you a chance. Emily adds in good skincare routine too. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> of course. Why not? Hey, listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna feel good, you may as well look good too. Um hey. so they can go to Instagram at, yep. at BK underscore studios twenty two. It's on the screen there and learn more about you and see some of your stuff. Um and Thank see you. and they can follow you there and find out what's coming next because I know you're getting ready to do some great stuff. Thank you and so much. I appreciate that. I want to thank you for being on the show today. And uh, Kelly, we didn't get a whole lot of chance to, to chit chat back and forth, but it's good to see you. You too. And, and uh, was, yeah, yeah, thanks for letting us highlight her work. Today. Thank oh, you. Uh, listen, this I is what this is all about. It. And this is all about how people see things and how they feel things. And uh, great talk, guys. Thanks. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Emily. Thanks it was nice here. talking to you, too. Um, a little bit of fun to start your day with some music. That's always a good way. Even if you're in the wrong frame of mind, sometimes music will put you right back where you belong. Absolutely. And uh, I recommend the Beatles. Get your body moving. Always a good way. Get your body move. moving. You sing, move in, sing in the shower, people. Sing in the shower. Um, it's, it's just a great way to start your day. And everybody can sing. Don't say I can't sing. Everybody can sing. All right. Uh, well, that's it for the uh, Holistic Evolution podcast with Scott and Kelly. I want to thank our guest, uh, Danette. Uh, sorry, Danette's not that's our guest. Okay. She's one of our people. <laughs> uh, Beth for joining us. Beth, uh, I hope you'll be on again sometime. I hope so as well. Thank you for having me today. It was it was really nice connecting with you. Fantastic. And um, again, Kelly, any final thoughts? Yeah, I just one of the things I just want to highlight the most that I love about Beth's products are how pure and natural they are. And I also wanted to say to her candles are made with stuff that's non carcinogenic, which is mm -hmm. so important because mm -hmm. I don't burn candles because normally they're filled with crap. Mm -hmm. And so I try to make sure that like when I'm bringing people on for this podcast, that it's very pure stuff. And that's what I love about what she's created here. So check her out. Thank you. Everybody, please check her out. Watch her. I see great things in her future. And uh, we'll be following you right here on the Holistic Evolution Podcast. 
and seeing what you do next. All right. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Uh, again, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next week for now. Uh, make sure you, you start every day. You want an intention. Then you go out every day. You do one thing nice for somebody else and two things nice for yourself. And you will never have a bad day. I'm Scott Jones. We'll catch you next time.